what's up guys before i even start the review i do have two announcements one is kind of a combination of two different announcements but could treat it as one uh this channel is partner now meaning if you go click on my channel you will see a join button the reason why i said this is a two-in-one announcement is because i also launched a patreon and both the join function of this channel and the patreon will have the same feature which will be early access to my content. YouTube enabled a new feature. If you are a member that whenever I do upload a video, I can set it to memberships to them public. My upload schedule is every Tuesday and Thursdays at 12 p.m. EST. But let's just say I'm a couple of days ahead of uploading a video, even maybe a week. Maybe I get enough time, like some people who I know, what can we have on our source of assassin and have things maybe three weeks to potentially a month plan ahead if you are a member either here on youtube or a member on patreon you will have complete early access to those videos the reason why i'm also mentioning patreon is there's kind of a little bit more initiative for the patreon side as in depending on the tier you select you may influence a video or potentially a couple videos for those who go on the patreon side depending on the tier you get you will have kind of a bit more power of what i upload any proceedings of these monthly support will go directly towards more cigars because as you guys know this is not a very very cheap lifestyle yes i do appreciate eric and peter eric is a smoke if you have one and peter is cigar collective but not many people would actually send me cigar bombs like they have. Those things I would take will be a rarity and I don't want people to feel pressure to give me cigar bombs. So this is going to be times where I'm going to have to supply the next video. Right now I'm good for a couple months because of these two amazing individuals. But when it comes to the times when I do have to start supporting more content of things you guys might want to watch with this added feature it will help me stimulate the proceedings to go towards more projects and more videos and more potentially shorts and other expansions i can probably do on this channel with that being said that's announcement number one now number two is fortune lost somebody and i was gonna post this video a couple weeks from now because i already have a few cigars lined up uh but when i looked at this cigar right here and yes, my graphics kind of look different. I've been altering some things. But when I was looking at this cigar, I noticed this. And most likely, Tony could be more descriptive of what these things are. There's a few things in the man. Obviously, you have the punch logo. Obviously, you have the whole dragon basically intact. Give it respect. They didn't put any emblems or logos on top of it, other than obviously 2024 punch. But they gave the dragon a little bit of respect and basically showed it on his own when i saw that symbol especially what was revealed this weekend we know it did happen last week i just want to give honor to the person that inspired a lot of my channel my avatar a lot of things that i've done for me growing up enjoying Budokai tenkaichi from just the conversation with me and my friends just from watching the show uh just having so many conversations all the kind of swords tattoo ideas i have that the main inspiration is of shenron or shenlong today's video was released earlier in the spirits of sensei akiri toyama so this video is for him rest in paradise with those two announcements being out the way let's get into today's video punch dragon fire basically their rendition of year of the dragon Before I even cut it or do anything, let's just analyze this real quick. So you guys, I just showed you guys the rapper and the band, but look at the top. It's a flat top and a partially closed foot. The reason for this design is if you manage to grab the box, which my friend Tony did. So I'm just going to play a real fast clip from him of how the box looks like, how it opens up. 
and, and how he opens it up without damaging it is a little clip from tony uh unbox is very easy you get a box like this there is two or three clips thing that is shoved into the hole that's what she said <laughs> So you just have to lift it from behind that. If you lift it here, it might rip it. But if you do it behind it a little bit and just move forward with it, it's a lot easier and less likely to rip it if you are looking to collect it. You can see this right here. And there's another one here. And there's one in the front. And you open it up. There we go. And inside, you get cigars basically piled up in here. This style is they try to mimic like firecrackers, right? After watching that, essentially, this is supposed to resemble Chinese fireworks, which I honestly believe it's a cool idea. Everybody in the mama are doing Year of the Dragons and my bank account cannot keep up with it. Please slow the fuck down, please. Please just slow down, please. Just can you can y'all wait another 12 years <laughs> because you guys are releasing too much and um, I'm getting calls from my banks and credit cards and um yeah anyways everybody's releasing the year of the dragons and they're having the boxes they're all coming out red and this and golden and uh, you know everything is almost like the same kind of concept or type of tradition or whatever punch is the company that yes the cigars are on a budget friendly side for example, when Fumochu came out and you had the egg roll and all this kind of sorts, you had the Fumochu that had a little tail to resemble Fumochu's you know, mustache. But with the combination of the boxes looking different, some of them look like Chinese takeout. Despite the cigars being inexpensive, they're highly creative with what they do with the boxes. Yes, this is not wooden boxes or these other type of hardened boxes. And yeah, the paper, but they're creative as hell. Out of all the other companies, Punch decides to do a resemblance of a Chinese firework or a TNT, which I think is kind of smart and unique and makes it its own thing. With that being said, let's just get into the cigar. Before I even describe more of the cigars in the background, let me just smell the wrapper, do a cold draw, light it up, then I'll break the cigar down for you guys. Okay. You have like this, like fermented cocoa. Like they're in a process of making chocolate. I'm not sure if you guys ever seen the process of, of how to make chocolate. I was blessed with a cousin that married a Nigerian guy. His family in Nigeria would send him beans, like cocoa beans. And what he did when I was growing up, the cool thing is he had a nice accent, but I understood him, but he would tell me, he would give me a question. He says, what's your favorite chocolate candy? And I'll tell him Reese's. He's like, all right, we'll make Reese's right now. He would have a cup that's sealed. He would open it. And it was just this putrid smell. Then he washes it off, put it in the oven, cooks it. And then you have this smell of like, almost like chocolate, but it's not exactly chocolate, but it's almost there. He'll bake it, crush it. You put a little bit of milk, a little bit of creamer, like half and half and just mix it about, mix it about, mix it about. And it starts getting this like this rich chocolatey syrup. From that point on, he just adds a little bit of sugar, puts it in the saucepan, gets a mold of whatever, put a little bit of chocolate, peanut butter, and he puts more chocolate on top, put it in the refrigerator, boom, done. Reese is made. The reason why I mentioned this whole fucking complex story is because I'm getting that type of smell. Like it's in the process of becoming chocolate. It's not chocolate yet. This is in that middle stages. So it's like this cocoa that's in this middle stage and becoming the actual chocolate that we got today. With a little bit of leather. Like manure. Like a barn. Woo! I mean, she's uh, getting a little spice. But my nose is getting. <coughs> yeah, a little slight spice. Since this bad boy is like this, I am not going to guillotine cut it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this, not this side, not this side. Let me use this side, which is a hole punch or well, a larger hole punch. I haven't used a hole punch in a long, long time, but with a flat top like this, 
I don't want to cut too much and damage the cap. Ooh, wait. I get chocolate. <coughs> Spicy, earthy chocolate. I'm like Cocoa Puff. Yeah, it's almost like Cocoa Puff. It's either Cocoa Puff or like the Nesquik chocolate powder or the Ovaltine chocolate powder. It's not like milk chocolate or like that type of like candy bar style. It's more like a chalky chocolate powder. Slice the leather because we're doing Dragon Fire. Wow. Yep. Spicy. Chocolatey. Earthy, leathery. But I'm gonna stick to my guns when I say chalky chocolate. It definitely tastes along the lines of that whole Nesquik or Ovaltine chocolate where you just take a spoonful and you just, without even put it in milk, just take a spoonful of Ovaltine or Nesquik and just take a, oh, just take a bite. I did that a lot as a kid. And this is definitely that. That earth is nice too. This is like a nice, dirty, chalky chocolate with this leather tone. Right on the palate, it's this tobacco taste too. So as I try to collect my thoughts, let's just kind of break down what the cigar is all about. This is, once again, for the 18th time of this video, Dragon Fire Punch, You're the Dragon, 2024. The rapper of this bad boy is very surprising. It's not like everybody's using this, but it's Mexican. Most likely a San Andres. I'm shocked. Wow. But I, I understand why people are using a lot of Mexican San Andreas wrappers because it gives you a lot of flavor and components, which makes an amazing cigar. So I can't knock Punch for doing it and 10,000 other companies doing it as well for this year. To get to the next component of the cigar, you have the binder. The binder is Nicaraguan, but specifically from the Codega region. C-O-N-D-E-G-A. Lastly, you have the filler. The filler is a combination of Nicaragua, Honduras, and Dominican. That is what makes this cigar. But Rick, what the hell is this cigar too? It's not only just wrapper binder filler. You have Vitola, you have size. Relax, mijo. Relax. I got you. I see you. I see your comment before you yell at me. A lot of my friends are six feet and above. This cigar is me. This is a short gordo. And in Spanish, gordo means fat. I'm below six feet. And I am hefty. And, you know, I carry either C or D cups. So this cigar is me. It is a short gordo, but the dimensions of the cigar is a five by 60. Is there any other information you could offer us, Rick? Yeah, kind of, I guess. Information I could offer. Now I gotta say why I call it dragon fire, because look at that. Sorry for kind of going off topic, but this is smoky, smoky. Okay. Hmm. It's fixing itself. It was about to canoe. It was about a canoe, but it actually healed itself actually pretty fucking cool okay 
Yeah, after they healed this stuff, it kind of calmed down with the smoke. But the output is still amazing. I can see why it's called Dragonfire. Uh, what was I going to say? Two more information I can offer you about the cigar is the MSRP of the cigar is $6.99. Either or, if you find a cigar anywhere and you see it at the $7 mark, you're paying, what, a penny more? But yeah, MSRP of the cigar is $6.99 and it's supposed to be a medium to full. That's everything I have found on the cigar when it comes to the background. So now let's get into the review. As I was explaining information about the cigar, I kind of caught on to this, this slight little sweet honors home to the cigar. Like it's something separate than the chocolate. The chocolate of the cigar is not your typical chocolate. This is more like powdered chocolate. You have this sweetness that's kind of separate. And for a cigar for this price point, not bad. Not honestly bad. The cigar does have a sweet tobacco taste, but it's unique. But on that note, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the first third. And I'll come back to you guys in a couple of seconds on the second third. Or unless I find something else. Because this cigar is just like me, a short gordo. I'm entering the second third. For some weird reason, as it's entering the second third, it's become a little bit more spicier for me. I like it. That chocolate is starting to slightly develop into more of a refined chocolate. I don't know. It's like the earth component. It's starting to get a little more like mineral water. I'm not even too sure this video is still up. I did a review. Oh my God. Years ago of something called black water. And essentially it had loads of minerals in it. And I'm getting like little remnants of like that mineral element to this cigar. It's quite nice. I'm like slowly turning British for some reason. It's like the bottle of water I drank a couple of weeks ago. It's quite nice, in it? The flavor is having a little potty in my mouth. Hold up. Besides that, <laughs> it's not a bad cigar. I've had cigars above this price range. This is even like overtaking those cigars. I wanted to smoke a little bit more longer just in case if there is a transition and there actually is. I am officially at that two third mark and things have started to kind of soothe down. I'm starting to get a little bit more leather. I'm starting to get a little bit more chocolate. Like I said, the more refined chocolate. And it's becoming earthy. That whole mineral aspect kind of took a step back. There's still a little bit of spice residue in there. It's not as prominent as it was towards the ending of that one third. The initial light was very soothing with the pepper. And then it came a little bit more intensified of the second half of the one third, which will be one six. No, damn it. Math, public education. Why you failed me so much? One. Yeah. One half of one third is one six. So after the sixth of the cigar, the spice indication kind of rose up. Then once it entered the second third, it just calmed down. Now I'm just getting your generic flavor notes you get in cigars with a little hint of the refined chocolate. For the last few uploads, I've been kind of deleting my questions just for the sake of not giving you guys a long video. But I kind of want to bring it back and actually leave it in this video. Have you guys ever had a punch? And two, is this a company you always look forward for releases? Opposite of the question is, why don't you like punch? Those are the two questions I have. On that note, I'm going to keep on smoking until the last third. See you guys in two seconds. So guys, I am at the last third of the cigar. And I'm going to do something. I already smoked two of these, but I really wasn't paying attention to them. The other day when I heard the news about Akira, I decided to watch the Cell Saga of Dragon Ball Z. And in spirit of that situation, I smoked one of these punches. But if you look into the band, there's something there. 
apparently every band has their own fortune. I tend to not want to break my bands yet because I have an idea for maybe a future home I have. Probably get a sheet, get all the bins I have, plaster on them, write the name of the cigars below it, and just put a little bit of resin and just call it a day. Since I already do have two punch bands basically intact, I don't mind breaking this one open. Let's see what this says. Measure twice, cut once, unless the job requires multiple cuts. Sometimes cigars do require a second cut, especially torpedoes. Sometimes torpedoes have a tight pull, even if you do cut it twice. So that third cut is chef kiss. I'm answering the last third. The flavor notes have been changing a little bit and it has became a little bit more, not really blander, I guess you could say blander. It diluted a lot. You still have that chocolate reminisce in there, but it's becoming a little bit more earthy, leathery, and just tobacco. That spice element, to me, honestly, is completely gone. With every retro I'm doing, it's getting less and less. Let's just take the time to just also look at the ash. That's almost purely white. I'm actually quite fond of the cigar. Do I think it was worth $6.99? Yeah. If they were to elevate the price of the cigar a little bit, I still think it would be fine. As long as it doesn't exceed maybe like $10, $11. I could see a cigar with this quality and this taste notes. It could be around that price range between $6 to $10. Taste notes are quite the same, just a little bit more diluted. I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking about my feelings and my ratings, which is still something I'm still trying to work on to finalize what I really want to dig into cigars of how I do grade my cigars. So maybe with your guys' input and feedback to help me maybe generate a tier list of how I could categorize an official rating system for cigars. So for the meantime, I'm just gonna do construction I'm gonna do taste notes, I'm gonna do experience. For the construction, I think it's interesting. You have the whole element of the half closed foot with the flat top. There has been no cracks, no unraveling. There has been no instances of other stuff. For the times when I did pause my recording to go through the third and the second third, there was times where I did have to touch up the cigar a tad bit for canoeing issues. Uh, draw has been flawless. I will land this cigar's construction to a, I would say a solid seven and a half. It's a short Gordo. I don't know. I'll just leave it at seven and a half because it's unique. It definitely is interesting. I can already see people who don't have a hole punch on hand that may go through some issues when cutting with guillotine and especially it being the size it is some guillotines may not even fit and if you don't have a cigar with a guillotine with the back to it example i have this Pordomo cutter that i use frequently as you can tell all the wear and tear it has a back to it meaning it allows me not to overcut but if you're ever raw dogging a guillotine cutter like i have with this pledge cutter there's no back to it if you overcut there's a chance where you could actually ruin the cigar with it unraveling or breaking, shotgunning, and a whole bunch of other issues that might arise, which is why I'm giving it seven and a half rating. And especially with the fortune, sometimes it might require multiple cuts. All depends. With the taste notes, I will give it, I'll put it in between a six and a half and a seven. It has a nice feature with the chocolate more being on the unrefined side and then becoming a little bit refined and that slight sweetness to it. But I feel like there could have been a little bit more flavor to it that punched you. So it's not a bad cigar taste note wise. I don't mind maybe getting a box of this because it's a $7 cigar. It's very cost efficient. It could easily fill up your humidor. And you don't have to feel like you broke your bank for a decent quality cigar you can have at the ready at any time for seven dollars 
Think about that. Seven dollars and you have a decent cigar. The taste is not really memorable, but it's still enjoyable, which is why I'm giving it between a six and a half to a seven rating. For experience, that could be towards a little bit on the eight side because of the whole aspect of getting fortunes on your band, especially how the band looks. That is a dope image on the band. This is dope. I like it. Oh. A dragon, the symbols on top. It's nice. The fact that the box resembles Chinese fireworks or TNT. So maybe just with that topic on hand, I might just remove experience and do a rating on appearance. And that could go with the band. I could go with the cigar itself. Bunch of cigars out there that, you know, perfectos, double perfectos, figurados, give elements of closed foot, pigtails. And some of these bands just look gorgeous. So maybe starting in the near future, I might just have a solidified rating system by May or April. Maybe appearance will be part of it. Let me know. Because currently how I kind of see it is taste notes. I consider it double the points than construction just being obviously just a singular multiplication of it like just one times whatever so for example my three rating system technically speaking is four because i double up on the taste notes because taste notes is what drives you to get the cigar more the cigar taste note is off but the parents is beautiful you are going to lean more towards the taste notes compared to how it looks let me know what you guys think about that how would you guys feel like if i take away experience replace it with the parents and then just even though it's just three features, it'll count as four different points, meaning taste is two, construction is one, and appearance will be one. So with that being said, the 6.75 for the taste notes, for the seven for the construction, and an eight for experience, this cigar will be still deemed an ash. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Punch Dragonfire Year of the Dragon Edition. Until next time, guys, as always, I love your faces. And I'm out. Peace.